monsters of and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 9 of my Ungrim Iron Fist campaign. Last time we captured Castle Drakenhof, which I was sort of in two minds about doing, but I decided in the end it had a gold mine. So that's the reason we captured that. Um, Ungrim has dealt with, with tiny, spherical, round-headed, moon face Manfred last episode, knocked him out. Uh, now we've just got Heinrich Kemmler, who... He does have an army, but it's not a very big one, and it's not very good. So what we need to do is knock him out, and then come back and capture Karag Dromar, because that will finish off Zuthbar. It will also stop any vampiric corruption from increasing, because we got a bit of that. Um, is this Osmosis? So I think it's probably coming in from Western Sylvania, uh, which is controlled by Vlad. And of course, we need to deal with Vlad as well. Um, so lots going on. Very exciting. We've got some building going on as well. Uh, Karak Ungol's getting upgraded. So is Mount Gunbad. Uh, Karakadrin is... How are we looking? Yeah, that's going to take a while. Uh, I knocked down the, the barley field and I should have kept it. But, you know, swings and roundabouts. It, it's going to be fine. Uh, but what we do need to do is get to Castle Drakenhof to heal up. Because, well, the problem is... We get a reduction in casualty replenishment rate of 8% here. Which isn't great. Um... There's not much we can do about it, really, at the moment. I, mean, I could head back to Zuthbar. That would leave Castle Drakenhof woefully undefended. And it's not too bad. Hmm. Mm, no, no, I think I need to... And plus, corruption here is going to be... It's going to be horrendous until we can sort of... Uh, hunt down all the vampires in the, in the surrounding territories. So that's going to take a little while. So let's end the turn and see what happens. I'm hoping Heinrich just stays where he is. Aiden Turner, of course, Sexy Dwarf, is is heading south. We're going to see if we can link up with Belagar. Say hello to Belagar. There's Thorgrim. Need to see if we can confederate with him at some point. Try and get Thorgrim and Grombrindle on side. That would be very nice if we could manage that. Ah, was that another undead army there? That uh, hello, Vlad. Hi, Vlad. How's it how's it, how's it going? Can't help but see you kind of raiding me a little bit there, buddy. What's going on, hey? Would you mind just I fucking off? Fist. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. Uh, you want a military alliance? <sighs> no. Okay, Avalon have been destroyed. That's not a massive surprise, to be honest. Okay, I need to heal up. I need to heal up Ungrim's army ASAP. Uh, we've got a grudge to defeat Vlad von Karstein. And also win three battles against the undead. I mean, could have done with that grudge before. Uh, unfortunately, it is kind of climbing a little bit. So we, pr yeah, we need to deal with that. But we do have improved blast charges. That's going to increase the income from iron mines, gold mines and stone quarry. So that's going to come in useful. And apparently the Sword of Cain has been... Cl Ooh. Over there, so there's some there's some stuff going on. Osbin Kane is strict. That's good, I think. And we've got the Axe of Dargo. Win five battles. Ungrim Iron Fist, the Slayer King of Karakadron, is a restless dwarf. His five times great grandsire suffered a terrible loss, and in his torment swore the oath of slayers. His vow is to seek out death, conflicted with his vow as king to protect his people. In the end, good dwarf sense prevailed, and he found a way to honour all commitments by founding the Slayer Shrine of Karakadrin, establishing a haven for slayers that continues to this day. Now, Ungrim, bound by the same oath, spends many hours before the shrine, chafing at his fate. Though he cannot seek death himself, he can certainly seek out opportunities to slay the enemy, and it is that this that affords him the modicum of solace. So we need to just basically kill lots of people. Okay, we can, we can do that. We can do that. Uh, right, let's, well. let's sneak work. in here. That's going to get us replenishment. That's going to be useful. Uh, what I might do is just One merge room. those. And we will get some more uh, long... In fact, I might get rid of you. Let's get more long beards because they are going to be... I mean, the Dwarf Warriors are already pretty bloody sturdy. Uh, the the long beards, on the other hand, can, can dish it out as well as take it. So, well worth having them on side. Zuthbar 
is not great. And we've got another army on the move over here somewhere. So I kind of need... How's public order here? It is fine. What if we leave? Still going up. Still going up. Okay, good. So, now, money is not as great as it once was. Although, it should get back. Obviously, we should get... I need 4,000 to do that. So, I need to be a little bit careful about what I... Because in three turns, I'm going to need 8,000 monies. So, basically, I don't I want to spend anything. Now, although replenishment is worse here... We are replenishing. So, it's not actually too bad. We could get the Ekron Miners again. I'm tempted. Oh, Vlad, you've just got a lot of Zombles and Skellingtons there. That's not really what I would call a decent army. Okay, so if we do one turn of replenishment, we'll get the Longbeards, and we can head north and deal with Heinrich. Put him out of our misery. How's public order here? Public order is climbing when we're in the city. We are going to get the Slayer Shrine there. That's going to help. So that's good. And hope... I mean, growth is going to be painfully slow here. But we're going up six a turn. That's going to take 17 turns before we get one growth. We need four to get the next level. So it's going to take a little while. Uh, so ideally, we take Eshen. I'd like Waldenhof as well, but that's... Uh, that's a bit out of our reach at the moment. So... Oh, do I want to do that? No, no. Let's let's save our money. Uh, we've got Peter Dinklage here as Sassy Dwarf. Because obviously Peter Dinklage is the sassiest of dwarves. So that's what we've got. Failed. Peter, what? Come on, Peter. Come on, Peter. What, what's going on? What's going on, buddy? Uh, we could get the steam drills. That would give us even more income from... I mean, the, fi the fact that we've got so many gold mines makes me feel like steam drills is just a... It's just, it, it's just a dead cert, isn't it? More money. Steam-powered automated drills are recent, if noisy, invention by the Engineers Guild. Well, research away, my friend. Anything that gives me more money from gold mines can only be a good thing. Is that, a, is that a green skin called Azol? As in, asshole. All right. Uh, ooh, are we at war with... Are we at war with Vlad? I didn't think we... I didn't think we were at war with Vlad, but apparently we were at war with Vlad, so I guess we're going to be fighting Vlad. Guess that's the thing. Are we were at war with Vlad? When did that happen? I'm fairly sure we weren't at war with Vlad. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Does that happen? That does happen. I do I do not pay attention quite quite often. Um right. Yep, apparently we're at war. Okay, good. I do not bandy words with the weak. Leave me. Well, well, Vlad, you are right next door to us. I'm you, you seem to be trying to provoke me. And as such, congrats, you provoked. I'm not sure what you're going to do with... I mean, okay, you've got very elite Zombles, but I'm not sure... I, I really don't know what that means. Like, have you have you been drilling these Zombles? How does that work? Like, I have so many questions, Vlad. However, I'm not going to bother asking them. I'm just going to kill all your Zombles. There goes Vlad von Karstein, and that is not his wife. Ooh, awkward. That's fine. Uh, so Vlad has got Emmanuel Pon Posner, Posner and uh, a lot of Zombles. Basically, the only good unit he's got in his army is the Blood Knights. That's pretty much it. So, of course, I immediately, as soon as I can, target my... To be honest, I should have been doing this earlier. Target the Grudge Thrower on the Blood Knights, and we start doing some very nice damage there. Apparently, vampires 
not just steak through the heart and garlic, but also a huge boulder to the face. Weirdly effective against a vampire. So, you know, keep that keep that in mind. If ever you, if you come across a vampire, just, just throw a giant boulder at its face. Apparently, works wonders. So on the left flank, we have Ungrim Iron Fist, the Dragonback Slayers, the Lost Hold Avengers, and another unit of Slayers. On the right flank, we've got Robbie Coltrane leading another detachment of Slayers. Now we need to deal with these Blood Knights because the Blood Knights are the only units of threat. So let's go and deal with them. Ungrim's going to move in. And we're going to get the Lost Hold Avengers and the Dragonback Slayers because, of course, these guys do have... I think they've got regeneration, which means they're weak to fire. So I think that's true. Are they? They're undead. Have they got regeneration? I don't know they do. I thought they had regeneration, but maybe I was wrong. Anyway, I can see the Blood Knights taking horrendous damage there. Uh, the Lost Hold Avengers uh, likewise took a lot of damage, but actually didn't lose many members of their unit, whereas the Blood Knights have just been completely wiped out by, by angry, half-naked men. Mm. Uh, then we're going to get hit by Skeleton Spearmen, of course Zombles all over the place, the Thunderers being held behind the line in this checkerboard fashion. Going to be able to fire into the uh, imp approaching undead. On the right flank, our Slayers have hit the units of Zombles and are just carving their way through them, racking up huge numbers of kills. The zombles do not stand a chance. Uh, of course, I do have Dry Rains uh, reskin mod, so you can see that some of these Zombles look freaking amazing. Look at them. They've got little, little armor and helmets on, which I think makes the units look so much more interesting. Really good mod. If you haven't picked up Dry Rains reskin mod, definitely, definitely consider picking it up. Dwarf Warriors and the Warriors of Dragonfire Pass just carving up those Zombles. I mean, they are Dwarf Warriors, not very offensive, but they will be able to deal with that no problem. Ungrim is currently dealing with a unit of Skeleton Spearmen all by himself, but to be honest, he's a bit wasted there. He's just knocking Skeleton Spying. Meanwhile, the Dragonback Slayers and the Lost Hold Avenger just carving their way through some Zombles. And Vlad and his, not his wife, currently trying to deal with the Longbeards. And they are actually doing quite a bit of damage there. Longbeards very defensive, but I mean, Vlad is an ancient vampire. So to be fair, they're kind of, I mean, that, that guy lost his arm. That's not great. So he's carving his way through. Ungrim, though, has decided he's had enough of Skeleton Spearman, so he's making a run for it. The Thunderers repositioning to assist by dealing with those Skeleton Spearmen. Ungrim's going to move around behind and start punching Vlad in the face, while the rest of Vlad's army is slowly just carved to pieces. You can see they're charging in, but they're taking horrendous damage. In comes Ungrim. Start smacking Vlad around the face. So he's got the Red Ruin ability, which increases weapon damage and armor piercing by 60%, but reduces his melee defense, which means he takes more damage. So currently he has 739 weapon strength and 73 melee attack, whereas Vlad has uh, 61 melee defense, 84 melee attack, and 519 weapon damage. So Ungrim definitely... Easily going to take Vlad here. He's also got a healing potion, so he's going to pop that and regenerate, whereas Vlad is doing the same with magic, so it, it's pretty even. And, okay, I mean, the Longbeards are helping out, so there is that. And Vlad taking a lot of fire from the Thunderers as well, with their, just sniping him in the face, much like they did with Manfred. He's going to try and heal, but not quick enough. Only 101 losses on our side to 2,000 losses on Vlad's. Although, obviously, he did have a lot of Zombles, so that's not a massive surprise. Still, we are going to... Oh, I just can't take the casual pleasure at the moment, so I'm just going to have to execute the captives. The send him running away. We've defeated uh, the following Lord in battle. Apparently, that was a grudge. We got some both gold and some treasure for that, so that's quite nice. And some money. And another Dwarf Bride. Well, wow, Ungrim's just, um, just racking him up, aren't they? Isn't he? Good stuff there. And he's got Undeath Descendant, which means he's got Wound Time Recovery Time minus four. I think he already had some Wound Time Recovery. So I think basically, as soon as he's wounded, he'll be back up. 
Does he? Slayer King. Yeah. So he's now got six turns wound recovery time, which means I think he'll be instantly available uh, as soon as he goes down, if he goes down. So we can actually be pretty reckless with Ungrim if we so choose. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's, let's finish off Tactician. Let's help our missile units out a bit there. And Robbie Cole Train, of course, we're going to go with... Oh, that's bad. He's got 52 melee defense. Yes, there we go. I think maybe we go with Rune of Might for more weapon strength. Make him pretty beefy. One more weapon strength. I mean, that would... That would give us five. I'm kind of tempted to go that way. I mean, Cleanse Corruption would be quite nice, though. I'm thinking we go Cleanse Corruption. Because I think that's that's probably going to be quite important at the moment. Uh, the throng is Peter, have we already tried to assassinate? Oh, oh finally, you managed to kill the ghost. Good job. I think you can probably get better at assassinating people because I kind of need I need that. I could go chasing... Oh, you know what? Let's finish you off. And then we can head back to Castle Drakenhof and just heal up a little bit. That's looking pretty good. I am the Slayer King. Yeah, yeah, we, we know. We know, Ungrim. Uh, now, I would like... We do have... I mean, I've got to save enough money for these gold mines because getting those gold mines yeah, is going to give us another 300, so another 600 income per turn, which is going to be very, very useful. Could get the drinking hall, though, public order. Hmm. I mean, to be honest, I'm not going to... Well, okay, it would help. No, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna hold. If we can hit Heinrich next turn, we'll do that. They do have another army down here, Holman Gorst. Uh, that's mostly Zombles, so that's not much of a threat. He might go for Oakenhammer, though. There's not much I can do about that. I mean, I can stop him. How's the garrison looking? It's it's recovering. It's taking a lot. I, I need to take Eshen so that I can get some a barley field up there to get the replenishment up. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. So uh, that's what we need to do. Ozpin, I th how many turns do we have for that gold mine? Is it still three or is it two? Two turns. Armed and ready. Uh, do we have a military alliance? Are you you're not at war with. You're not at war with the vampires, so I think what we're going to do with you is just sit there for the moment, just in camp for the moment, and we're just going to see if we can hold the line just for a little while. Ah, there's Belagar. So we're going to see if we can hold the line just in case we can get those gold mines up, or at least building, and then I'm planning on... Oh, there was... Oh, no, Belagar won. Holy shit, I thought... I thought Grimgore just came out of the I fog of war there. I thought he was going to take Belagar. You you hey, Manfred. How are you? You want a peace treaty? We return to our graves and ready ourselves for Gushnik. You have peace until then. Tough. Gonna use your little round head as an incredibly useful football. So I think the dwarves are okay against the greenskins. I think they're holding out. It looks like Grimgore was hitting Belagar. Belagar survived. So that's going to weaken the greenskins a bit. So that's going to give the dwarves a little bit long. I, I just need to... If I can capture Eastern Sylvania and then maybe just beat up Vlad a little bit. You've gone over there. Now we could potentially hit Eshen. Which doesn't have much of a garrison. I must fulfill my slayer oath. Of course, public order would not be great. And it looks like Helm and Gorse said in that direction. So actually, that works out for us. Although that... Ah, that public order is not good. I know people say I'm paranoid about public order. And uh, that's actually that's actually fairly true. That's fair. I am. I don't like, uh, I don't like seeing public order drop. Makes me antsy. Okay, one more turn for the gold mines. We definitely want to grab those. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and kill Heinrich. Which I'm going to say is an auto resolve. Beards and belts. 
Hey? No. What? Yes. Just kill. Ugh. Well, uh, I guess it's all right. Uh, let's occupy. So we defeated Kemler in battle. That's given us 30 oath gold. That's very useful. Got the grumbling guard as well. And abominable puppet grudge has been completed as well. Oh, okay. So, we, yeah, we've completed the, the other grudge as well. So that's dropped our grudge meter down. And Ungrim Iron Fist is a lich killer. Kemmer's quest for the darkest of knowledge will never be over, but he has suffered something of a setback. And that's uh, increased Ungrim's magic resistance by 10%. And he's also a superior attacker. No. Now, what we could do is maybe get a peace treaty just for the moment. How do I feel about that? Uh, we've got some wine here, which I kind of like. The refractory, I kind of want, but I need that growth building so, and, and recovery building. So okay. we're going to get that. Ungrim, you are... You've leveled up. I would like to get Fearless Dowie. So let's go Rally, and then we can get that next. Um... Okay, we've got enough money. Money's not an issue. And in fact, what we can do is march down Ozpin to come and back us up. And maybe he can go and garrison Zothbar. Now, what we could do is maybe peace out with Manfred. Because I feel like... Am I too overextended? I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm all right, actually. I'm a little bit worried about the Zuffbar because the public order here is, is Garbo because of public because uh, of um, instability. But overall, I don't think it's. Ask I mean, worst case, Hellman goes for Castle Drakenhof, which is garrisoned. It has defenses. I mean, it's not great defenses, but I don't I... think he can attack straight off the bat anyway. So I think we'll be all right. My anger yeah, okay. Okay. Aiden, okay, we've met up with Belagar. What? What's your problem with me? Apparently you don't like me. You've got an aversion. You don't like... You don't like Ungrim. All right? How about non-aggression pact? Impossible. No, no, he, he does not like Onward. me. Okay, what about you? You do not like me either. What, really? It is time. Oh, you don't like me either. Why don't the dwarves like me? What's my... What's their... What's their... Have I done something? I mean... I can understand if I was... Grumbling. But I'm not. I'm good. Got no grudges. Onwards. All right, Peter Dinklage, can you go and assault units? No, you cannot, because you are tired, because you assassinated that ghosty. Okay. Yes, In that case, just you. come down here. I will not. Oh, hello, Isabel. Um, Isabella, how are you? Tempt me not, dwarf. My patience grows sharp. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Okay. Could, could be a bit of a problem, but we need to go. I think if we can get to Oakenhammer, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be okay, and we need to... Okay, so now Castle Templehof is obviously the main base of power for Vlad. But if we can maybe, cr what's the garrison like here? It's not great. We could actually take it out. Okay, what I think we're going to do is qu it's going to be quicker to just merge those long beards and recruit some more. In fact, I'll probably get rid of those doors as well. Let's get more long bits. That's going to be quicker than waiting for them to replenish. I think we're okay. Worst case, to Hellman decides to attack us. Don't think he will, though. Aiden. Okay, well, you've met up with Belagar, and Belagar does not like us. So I think what we're going to do is head... Um, you know what? I mean, to be honest, the problem is because we don't have a port, we can't really trade with anyone. So maybe we just want to come over and support the dwarves a bit. Because uh, it looks like the Border Princess has fallen. Oh, ready. Yeah. Yeah, the Border Princess is, is not, not, not doing great. Not doing great. We might have to lend some support to our to our Dwarven brethren oh, to the south. Here. Our 
honoured dwarf. I would like a confederation, but they're quite strong at the moment, so they're probably not going to uh, to go with that. But at least they're protecting our southern border, so there is, at least that's something we don't have to worry about. We haven't got a lot of things to worry about, but at least greenskins at the moment is not one of them. So Ungrim has got the recruiter trait and Helmand Gorst is running away. Good. No. Leave Peter Dinklage away. No, no. Okay. P Peter's fine. Where's Isabella going? She's going for Castle Drakenhof. Okay. That's fine. We've already dealt with Vlad. And once we've recruited those long beards, we'll be in a pretty good place. Ideally, I would like to... I would like to just give Vlad a bloody nose and let the Empire finish him off. That would be nice. Okay. Dramar Hogmog is, is back and ready for duty. We've got Celebration in all provinces, which is actually going to be quite useful to keep public order in Zuffbar. Just, um, just okay. Uh, can we hit you? No, we can't. Let me guess. You're in range of Eshen, aren't you? Yes, you are. Which is weird, because how are you in range of Eshen and I'm not? I guess you're marching, so maybe that's it. Okay. The slayer in me seeks death. Wins under you could wound and you could block uh, or hinder replenishment even which is not actually that useful Peter can you assault the unit 70% chance it's looking pretty good nice work and you aren't replenishment can we then can we mix that up within a hinder replenishment oh look at that double teamed nice Okay, let's get these gold mines going. And, oh, we also want... Oh, that's 8,000. We could... All right. Okay, so if I cancel that, we could go for the... So how much is that going to bring in? That's 1,500 just by itself. I mean, that's way better. So let's get that. Okay, we can't reach you, but we can garrison Castle Drakenhof. And then we can garrison... Eshen. Now, the only problem being that if you can reach Eshen, you're probably going to overwhelm the defences. Uh, yeah, let's get a barley field for replenishment. I, I, am the Slayer King. I don't think you can reach it, because I can't reach you. And I've got... What? I've got Root Marcher, so you, at most you'll have Root Marcher as well. I don't think you've got anything that'll make you move faster. Yeah, so I don't think you can reach. So I'm I'm okay with that. Dramar, you are... You know what? I would like damage... Ooh. Cleanse Corruption, actually. Let's try and get that Corruption down. And Peter Dinklage, you are going to be... Um, you are going to Assault Units, I think. I, I, I attempted to go for Specialist. I've decided to go for Assault Units... That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. And we want to save up for the upgrade to the gold mine. Really? Karakungor, though. Do I want to go for a trading depot? Mm, no. I do want to go for a trading depot here. No. Nope. Here. Because obviously we'll have a lot of money coming in from that. So trading depot increases income. So, oh, you might go for Oakenhammer as well. Basically, I can't defend you from... can't defend everything from Isabel. So they might go for Oakenhammer. That would be a pain. But it's a likely target, I think. And there's not much I can do about that, so... Oh, well. Did my best. Welcome to my throng.
Uh, you want a military alliance. I'm going to say no because I think it would actually make you weaker. And to be honest, I would prefer you defending my south. So, no. Border princes How are dead. My hall, hey Oscar. Vlad. You want a peace treaty and you want to give me money. I'm tempted and we have given you a bloody nose. It means we could finish off. Ugh, the corruption here would get worse. But I mean it's only for 10 turns. That would just give us a little time to, to sort of consolidate. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. That means Isabella will bugger off. It's also weakened them, so I'm hoping the Empire can make sort of inroads against them. Greetings, manlings. Are you ready to... No, um, defensive alliance. I mean, you are getting better with Kislev. Yeah, all right. All right. I can get down with that. Now we are at war with Throg as well and I haven't seen him. Which makes me nervous. Because he's a kind of... He's a kind of character that will just suddenly appear out of the fog of war. Got a war. Oh my god, there's a lot of green stints. Skin stacks hanging around. Uh, the border princes are dead. Yes, well, uh, Ungram is severe. That's not a massive surprise. Okay, they are recruiting up. This man, Fred, is back. Helmand Gorst is over there. Um, what's the best way? Do we think? Now, corruption is still bad, but it is dropping. The things are getting better. We've got the. the we can get the granary there. Although, we could get uh, Mount Gumbad. We could upgrade the gold smelter. I'm thinking that's that's a good shout. I'm going to leave Castle Drakenhof for the moment. And I'm going to hop over to Oakenhammer. And Ozpin is going gonna, is gonna to garrison. And Peter Dinklage, you're going to go and harass Helm and Gorst. Oh, nice work. Look at that. Doing some nice severe damage to him. Let's... Let's make you better at assassinating people. I quite like that. And Dramar, can you? No, you can't hinder replenishment because we don't have enough money. That's a bit of a bugger, but never mind. Okay, he might go for Eshen, but I don't think his army's strong enough to defeat Ozpin over there. And we can hop over, capture Karag Dromar. That leaves him homeless. That's one vampire faction dealt with. I'm hoping that the Empire is mobile. Who? Uh, but, but, right. Lord of the night. Sterland. Is that it? Really? Is that all you're at war with? Okay. Okay, well, I don't think Sterland's going to be doing much against them. But, I mean, at least we've weakened them. And we can come back and finish them off later. That's my thinking. Right. So we need to grab... Apparently there's a brewery down here. So we, we definitely want to grab that. Is that Bugman's Brewery? I think it was near Zuffbar, wasn't it? Poor old Bugman. He, uh... That was, uh you know what? That was the first regiment. I, it was the first ever Warhammer box set I got was Bugman's... Bugman's Rangers. Came in a box set with, uh... Bugman. And you had his champion who had a peg leg and a, an eye patch. And the the banner bearer, and a whole bunch of Bugman's Rangers, and yeah, you're going fresh, aren't you, little shit? I'm watching you. And um, basically, Bugman was the, the best brewer of all the dwarves, and he came home. He'd, he'd been off on a, he'd gone trading. He'd come, he came back, and goblins had destroyed the brewery, and um, so he he just I, he beast. and. Whoever remained you are became like a regiment that went and fought for uh, dwarves against against other greenskins. Uh, perhaps a treaty. I'm gonna bloody hell! Your strength rank two. 
At this rate, I won't need to do anything. Jesus, have you... Are you... Okay, well, no. I'm, I'm going to say no because it will make you weaker. So you just carry on doing what you're doing. And this rate, this is going to be a very fucking short campaign. I mean, normally, Kislev are like a kicking boy. They just get their head beaten in. And at the moment, they seem to be doing very well for themselves, which is it's nice to see. Caravan rate. A dwarf caravan is ringed by goblin... Oh, we've had this before. Um... Smashed enemy. No dwarf folk should be left in such peril. It may upset the balance of local politics to do this before the resident lord calls the clans, but the groby must be broken. Or, um, mm. <sighs> Fuck it, you're on your own. Don't want to mess with politics. It gets messy. Yes, okay, let's head in this direction. And we will head to Eshen. Because I don't like what Hellman's doing. And, oh, you know what, I'm, I could get these guys. Let's do that. Let's just bolster that army. I mean, that's pretty brutal. I don't think Helm and Gorse will be able to deal with that. And how long before we've got three turns and four turns? Very nice. Robbie Cole Train, you're pretty much healed up. I think those, uh, those barley fields finally kicking in. Let's cleanse corruption. Uh, public order is stabilizing here. Excellent. Let's get more growth. Uh, oh, we don't have, any, I don't have enough money. Okay. All right, Peter Dinklage. There's not much you can really do. We might go and harass. They don't have walls here. Manfred is recruiting skeletons as, as quickly as he can. It's not really going to help him very much. Uh, corruption is dropping here. It's dropping to 50%, which is okay. Anything less than 50% is is all right. I'll, I'll be okay with that. Okay, uh, we might be able to help out, get Aiden in there to start a, a sort of assaulting. They're raiding Castle Drakenhof, are they? Well, I don't think they... I mean, they have been recruiting units, but I don't think... I think we can deal with them. I think we'll be all right. So being at peace with, with Vlad is just going to give us the time we need to deal with Manfred, consolidate Eastern Sylvania, get the corruption down, and then we can look at uh, just nibbling at the vampires from the rear, nibbling on their bottoms. They've got a little bit of raiding going on. We've got a grudge to defeat Helm and Gorst. Oh, in fact, you know what I haven't looked at in a while is the forge. And you know what I was looking at? Um, the Iron Warden's Hammer. Although, the gate... I mean, that would be quite nice. Oh, I don't have marble. But I could get the Iron Warden's Hammer. Gatekeeper's Helm. Magic and Missile Resistance. I mean, that would be quite nice. For my Slayers. Damage Resistance, again, quite nice. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here. Mind you, we do have the quest for... The Slayer Crown, which is... Is that armor? What is that? I want to say it would be an enchanted item, but... Yes. God, we're, not, we're not moving very fast, are we? Uh, let's underway over here. We can hit you next turn. So I think... The Slayer... Maybe it'll be a Talisman. What about the Axe? Uh, the Axe, we need to win five battles. So that's getting close. Okay, well, let's... Um, I'm going to grab... The Iron Warden's Hammer. So let's, let's build that. Good stuff. 
Uh, all Dowie that witnessed the Iron Warden wielding this mighty hammer in action are roused to war. I do love a good rousing. And we're going to give that to Ungrim. And then we're going to give the Ranger's Hammer to Robbie Coltrane there, just to boost him up. See, he is he's pretty, he's a pretty brutal... Oh, it's an item. Intra I, okay, now that, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Give you a sapper there, and I guess you can have a Dwarf Bride. I don't think being a runesmith stops you from marrying, so I guess that's that's probably all right. So that, that, that seems fine. Pizza, you're going to do a little bit more assaulting. I keep meaning to get specialists and I don't. Never mind, let's assault the units. Nice work. And then Dramar, you're going to hinder replenishment. And you wounded yourself, but never mind. You're quite battered, aren't you? I'm sort of tempted. Oh, I don't really have the money. Soon I will. Soon I will. And we'll have Karag uh, Dramar as well. Let's see if we can we assault, uh, assault Shady Squigbeard. Success. Nice work, Aiden. That's what we like. I bet you oh, I bet you did that in a really sexy way as well. Let's have assault units. That's pretty good. We're going to try and help the dwarves out a little bit. Well, we've got two skill points. In that case, uh, have a specialist. You're going to be an agent for us. Like a dwarf James Bond. I am Iron Fist. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. You want me to join the war against the Greenskins? I mean, it's definitely on my list of things to do, Thorgrim. I'll, I'll, I'll level with you. It's just not on the top. I've kind of got some, some vampires to deal with, but once I've dealt with the vampires, I will very much send an army to help you. So don't worry about it. We are we are sort of going to help you out, but just not right now. They have been pushing, so that's that's good. Uh, Grimgore, maybe they don't. Oh, I think he's trying to replenish. Now, when they lose Karag Dromar, they oh, they might go for Oakenhammer. Hadn't thought of that. That's not much I can do, is that I can't reach it in time. Uh, Empire in flames. The manlings of the Sigmar come pleading to us once again. They have witnessed our devastating flame weapons and beg that we share the secrets of this technology as we once did with black powder. Um, Umgi are not the real enemy. If we share our advances with the allies, they will be benefit for us all. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give them fire. And Ospin Kane is a little bit cranky. I don't think we can reach. Well, you know what? I think we might be able to actually. Judge. I think we're just in range. Can we assault this guy again? Failure. Ah, oh, Peter. Peter. Right, Karag Dromar. Yeah, Manfred's dead again. Toodles. And thank you. So we've captured Zuffbar. Got a Cooper. Lichbone Pennant. Another Dwarf Bride. Don't know where they're all coming from, but sure. Uh, we should be able to defend Oakenhammer, I think. Um, I think we'll be all right. They're kind of outnumber us, but I think that I think that's okay. And let's have a quick look at the the special building for Karag Dromar. It is Bugman's Brewery. There we go. So, hundred kegs of dwarf beer. Public order plus ten. Recruit rank plus four for rangers. Uh, upkeep reduction for rangers. Construction time for ranger barracks and holstery buildings or regions. It provides a garrison and allows us to recruit Bugman's rangers, which is very nice. So that will look, they definitely want to grab that when we can. Um, hmm. Do I... Is this cheeky to get... I, I think, you know what, I think a barley field just, just feels right. 
So let's do that. We should be okay there, I think. Obviously... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you've got no settlements left, so you're going to go mental in a minute and just try and throw yourself up at the closest city, which is probably going to be Oakenham. Um, Ungrim's got a skill point, so we're going to pop that in Fearless Dowie. So no matter how many forces wash over from the Dowie, we'll hold the line. Melee attack for Longbeards, Iron Breakers, Slayers, and Hammerers. Weapon strength the same, and then magic resistance for the same. Can't go wrong with that. It's going to make our Slayers... Pretty bloody beefy. Hell's bells. Look at that. 101 melee attack. 47 melee defense. 48 weapon strength. I would not want to meet those in a dark alley. Okay, so. Infrastructure wise, it's all coming together. We've almost got the Brightstone Mine. So that's going to be very useful. We've defeated most of the vampire forces. They're probably going to throw themselves at Oakenhammer next turn. But I think Ozpin Kane has got this. In fact, could we... Oh, no, you've tried assaulting. Uh, Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter. You can, you can be a specialist. We don't have enough money to assault Grimgore. Yeah, you do, Aiden. I know, but... um, mm. Okay, I think that's okay. Uh, I'm going to leave the episode there. So next time, we're going to be finishing off the Manfred. I might actually try assaulting some green skins maybe just try doing a little bit of damage to them i'm worried it might be like poking a hornet's nest though and then we'll have you know green skins charging at us from the south but um even if that is the case i think that might be the right option as soon as i might wait until we just get our gold mines up and running because that's going to give us the money we need to get another army up that'll let us protect the north and the south and potentially we can then look at uh, cleaning out vlad when we get the chance but uh, all that coming up so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time